Hi, and welcome to the video. Today I'll be showing you how I film this spec ad for Kavita, a company that make this great kombucha beverage, in this very tight desk space. After watching this tutorial, you should be able to create something similar yourself. First, I'll start off with the label shots. To do these, I place the Kavita bottle on this old pottery wheel. Of course, if you have a motorised turntable, that would be more suitable. To give the bottle its condensation, I used a mix of 50% glycerin and 50% water in an old spray bottle. To light these shots, I used my Godox SL60 on a Pixapro C stand. I used this attachment to focus the light on the label without lighting the rest of the scene. Amazon links are in the description for all gear mentioned in this video. I placed the black side of a 5-in-1 reflector in the background to help stop light bouncing around and give me my black backdrop. I also used this reading light as a kicker, and an Aperture M9 to throw some subtle blue light on the background. I then took various shots of the bottle, adding extra glycerin to create dripping effects and simply using my hand to spin the pottery wheel while shooting. It's worth noting that without the set lights, the room was completely blacked out, so no ambient light was affecting my shots. My camera was static on the tripod for all of these shots. I achieved this look here by simply recording in 4K, allowing me to crop into the spinning bottle quite heavily in post as I was using a 1080p timeline. The combination of the digital zoom in post and the manual spinning make the movement look much more complex than it actually is. I achieved this look by simply swaying the reading light over the label. Again, the zoom was done in post. Here is a compilation of the final label shots. Now for the ginger shots. I wanted to make it seem like the kombucha was fermenting in a jar, as this is how kombucha is traditionally made. The hanging ginger in water, although not how kombucha is actually flavoured, was a visual representation of the ingredients of the beverage. I used this large glass container filled with water and hung the ginger piece from a cotton, hanging off the same reading light I used as a kicker from earlier. I used whatever materials I had available to make the shot work. I used this piece of spaghetti to remove bubbles from the jar link in the description. To light this shot I used my Godox SL60 on one side of the jar, with paper helping to diffuse the light in the jar. On the other side I used this desk light with a daylight LED bulb, again with paper as a diffuser. To make sure no light spilled onto the background I used these black pieces of foam taped to the light to help keep the light off my backdrop. I then filled this syringe with a mix of yellow and brown acrylic paint diluted in water and injected it into the jar to create this cloudy smoke effect. I recorded this in 4K at 30 frames per second, allowing me to slightly slow down the clip by 20% in my 24p timeline, and giving me the option to pan, crop and zoom in post. For the shots with a wooden background, I used these two sheets of pine that I've stained a dark brown, but you can use any piece of aesthetically pleasing wood or material that you already own. Placing one onto my spinning wheel as my base, and one as my backdrop, I used the same reading light from before to create a hotspot on my backdrop. I then used my Godox SL60 with this 60 by 60 cm Godox softbox as a key light. I used a technique called feathering to taper the amount of light from my key that was hitting the background, allowing me to get the appropriate amount of contrast between the subject and backdrop. I added some fairy lights in the background to create a bit more visual interest. Finally, I used the same desk lamp as a kicker to add a highlight to the bottles. I arranged everything in a pleasing way and gently spun the wooden base. Again, the subtle zoom out effect was added in post. The final shot to be explained is the overhead shot. To do this, I mounted my camera onto my C-stand like so. I used a regular basic light stand to mount my softbox as my C-stand was being used by the camera. I set up the softbox in the same position as previous shots at a roughly 45 degree angle. After arranging the items in a way I found aesthetic, I used the reading light to create a spotlight on the label of a bottle and simply poured the drink, adding the zoom effect in post. I had to speed up this clip quite a lot to make it fit the music, but I found it worked quite well. I edited the video in DaVinci Resolve to a piece of music that I felt fit the ad nicely. Firstly though, here's the edit with just the sound effects added.
And here's the final video again. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, please consider subscribing and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. All the gear I used will be in the description box. Thank you for watching, this is Tabletop Filmmaking and I'll see you in the next video.